Hi, I'm Jeff Spencer. I'm the Director of Product Management and Market Development for Juno Lighting Group. And I'm here in Juno's Lighting and Science Room to talk to you about the Indy Chroma Control Technology. This technology has three primary principles. First of all, it has very high quality of light. Second, it allows you to do what we call black body dimming. And then finally, it allows you to do tunable white and color tuning. All right, so let's start with the high quality of light. Now, typically people use the color rendering index or the CRI to indicate how high the quality of the light is. However, the CRI doesn't tell the whole story. There are actually 15 sample colors that are used to measure how well a light source renders the different colors. The CRI really only measures R1 through R8. It doesn't include R9 through R12, which are the saturated colors, or R13 through 15, which are the earth and skin tones, all of which are, of course, very important to render properly. So this high quality of light is maintained by our LED module that uses a closed loop calibration system to perfectly render the white light right on the black body locus. And the way it does that is there's, it's actually like almost like a computer inside the module that will increase or decrease the current or the power to the different LEDs to mix them perfectly to stay right on that black body locus. It also allows us to maintain the color temperature and delta UV throughout the entire life of the module. Because what it'll do is, because different colors will degrade at different rates, this will measure the rate of degradation and actually decrease the power to the other LEDs to ensure that you always have that constant color temperature and delta UV on the chromaticity diagram. And finally, it allows us to maintain a fixture-to-fixture -fixture color consistency within two-step McAdam ellipse. And so what that means is even in a worst case scenario that's far apart as they could be in color, the human eye would not be able to detect the difference. So all of the products that have this chroma control technology have this very high quality of light. But we actually allow you to take that a step further. As you know, whenever you dim an incandescent lamp, it gets warmer when you dim. But whenever you dim an LED lamp, you get less light, but the color temperature doesn't change. So what we've come up with is what we call black body dimming. The reason we call it that is because whenever a halogen lamp is dimmed, what you're doing is you're decreasing the current through the filament. Whenever you have maximum current through that filament, it glows with a cooler color, like a more of a bluish color. And then as you dim it, it goes through a series of colors and it just keeps getting warmer and warmer. So as you decrease the current, it's still glowing, but it's glowing with a warmer color down to maybe 2700 Kelvin. We were able to replicate that with LED so that it stays right on that black body locus and it follows that black body locus as it dims going through the same sequence of colors. So at full brightness, you'll be at 3000 Kelvin. And then as you dim it, you can dim it down to 1% and it, and it warms down to 1800 Kelvin. Black body dimming is perfect for applications such as restaurants, bars, hotels, hospitality, Places where you're looking for that nice warm glow like you would get from an incandescent, but you want to take advantage of the benefits of an LED, such as the long life and energy efficiency. Next, let's talk about tunable white and color tuning. And we'll start with tunable white. Tunable white allows you to actually tune the color temperature of your lighting anywhere from 4,000 Kelvin all the way down to 1,600. So traditionally with an LED product, we'll have four color temperatures, 4,000, 3,500, 3,000, or 2,700 Kelvin color temperatures. This product actually allows you to tune your white light to any color temperature between 4,000 all the way to 1,600. It also allows you to dim down to 1% using a 0 10 volt protocol, and it stays right on the black body locus so that it could perfectly simulate a halogen or incandescent. It maintains the very high CRI and R9 values throughout the entire range, and it also maintains a fixture-to-fixture -fixture color consistency of two-step McAdam ellipse. All right, so the way this works is once you have the chroma control fixtures installed in the ceiling, you actually commission the down lights, similar to the way you would commission adjustables to aim them. In this case, you're commissioning a down light uh, in order to get the perfect color temperature and brightness or dim level that you're looking for for the application. Uh, to do that, we use a remote control and we hit the scan button to pick up all the fixtures in the room that are using the chroma control technology. Then, once you select the fixture that you want to control, you turn it on and you can use this remote control to dim the fixture to set the light level that you want. Or, in this case, I have 4000 Kelvin 
And if I want to warm it up, let's say the customer feels like it's just a little bit too cool, I just warmed it to 3,225 Kelvin. So again, in the past, you can only go from 35 down to 3,000. Now you can go to 3,225. And in fact, I could actually warm this all the way down to 1,600 Kelvin. This allows you to get the, the perfect color temperature for uh, any application. The other thing to point out is as that fixture is, is being tuned, it stays right on the black body locus. So uh, going from 4,000 Kelvin down to 1,600, it follows that same black body locus curve as the uh, incandescent or the black body emitter. So that was tunable white, and up to this point, everything I've talked about has been um, talking about how the light stays right on that black body locus. But this chroma control technology has another feature, and that is it allows you to go to any color within the chromaticity diagram. And to do that, you control two other variables called the saturation and the hue. So in this case, I've got the product and I will cool it off to about 3500 Kelvin. And if I want to really pull out the different colors in, in the wall covering or in the carpet, or if it's retail, it might be in, in the apparel, uh, or in this case, it's a picture. And you can change the saturation. If the saturation is zero, that means it's right on the black body locus. If I increase that saturation to 100, that means it will be 100% saturated in whatever color I chose. So in this case, I chose a hue of red. So hue is color. Saturation is 100. And as you can see, it's 100% red light coming out. Uh, I can then change that hue from red to blue to green and back to red again and you can see that the color of the light coming out of the fixture goes through every color in between each of those primary colors. The other way that this is used is maybe I don't want the saturation to be 100, I want the saturation to be more like 40 in the red direction. And What that does is it allows the red wavelengths to be the primary wavelengths uh, incident on the uh, picture here and it pulls the reds out of the picture. And then if I change the hue from red to green to blue and back to red again, you can see how the different colors within the picture all are drawn out and it, makes it, it can make it have a completely different look depending on uh, the wavelengths that you've selected or the hue that you've selected. So this technology literally gives you total control of the light. All right, so now that we've talked about what these, this technology is capable of, let's talk about how it's controlled. And really it can be broken down very simply into controlling four values. There's the light level or the dimming, there's the color temperature, which is between 1600 and 4000 Kelvin. There's the saturation, and there's the hue. So if we, wanted, if we, if we talk about the black body dimming control, that one's very simple. It's, it's the same as controlling an incandescent, because the, the first two values, light level and the color temperature, are tied together. As you decrease the light level, the color temperature changes, just like an incandescent. You, you, you don't do anything, it is, it is what it is. Saturation and hue actually are fixed and they don't play uh, any part of the black body dimming. But now if we move on to the uh, tunable white and color tuning, uh, we can start by saying um, if, if you wanted to just pick a color temperature, the perfect color temperature for the application, and then beyond that, just you know leave the customer with a high quality of light, then what you do is you uh, actually don't select the dim level. You allow the customer to still use 0 to 10 volt dimming to dim the light, but when you commission it, you select the color temperature, you select the saturation you want, you select the hue that you want when you commission it. Then you take your commissioning tool, you put it back in your toolbox, and you leave, and then the customer has the perfect light that they could dim just like any other light except that it has this uh, high quality. The other option you could do is allow the customer to actually change their color temperature after you leave. So to do that, you don't pick the dim level and you don't pick the color temperature. All you do is you select the saturation and the hue with your commissioning tool. You put it in your toolbox and when you leave, the customer would have one dim switch where at the top it's 100%, at the bottom it's dimmed down to 1%. The other switch at the top would be 4000 Kelvin and at the bottom would be 1600 Kelvin. 
And then finally, you can use the more sophisticated uh, control systems, which have different scenes. You can set up to five scenes with this, and each scene, you can set those four values for each one. So scene one, you would set your light level, your color temperature, your saturation, your hue. Scenes two, they could be all completely different. So a good example of this might be in a boardroom, where historically when you walk into a boardroom, you might hit a button that says welcome, and all the lights go up to full brightness. And then you say meeting, and the, the, the lights dim down to, let's say, 80%. And you might do slideshow. And then the lights on the side might dim down to 50% and the lights over your table dim down to 60. This is really the same thing except in addition to uh, dimming the lights, you could change the color temperature, the saturation, and the hue. So welcome might be all the lights at 1600. Uh, meeting, you might see the lights over the table at 3500, the lights along the side go to 2700, and they all dim down to 80%. And you could have, you know, a uh, slideshow or something where maybe the light in the corner that's over the plant goes uh, saturated to 30% in the green direction to make the plant pop out. Or if you had a nice picture on the wall, you could change the saturation and the hue to make the colors of that stand out. So again, this just is it's similar to what you've seen in the past. It still uses a 0 to 10 volt protocol, but it just gives you more options and more control over the light. This technology is available in the same platform as our L-Series platform, which means that you can get it in 4, 6, and 8 inch, new construction, remodel, or retrofit using the same trims, either the parabolic or our uh, patent pending hyperbolic trims, the lumen depreciation indicator, wet location, uh, really anything you need to uh, make it easy to specify our commercial products and give you the perfect light for uh, uh, any application. As you can see, LAT technology has really just opened up a world of possibilities. If you have any questions about this, please contact Juno Lighting Group and thank you for your time. Yeah. <laughs>